Only Local 10 News is speaking with the widow of a man who was killed at work yesterday. And police have arrested a co-worker who they say used a sledgehammer to beat him to death. Local 10's Roy Ramos live now with this exclusive interview today. Roy. Calvin and Nicole, yeah, we spoke with the victim's wife and she is just devastated with all of this, still in disbelief. She described her husband as a kind soul. She says he was a father with three children who did not deserve this. It's just heartbreaking for someone to do that. A wife in tears after learning her husband, 40-year-old Ferdinand Williams, known to many as Andy, was killed after being struck with a sledgehammer by a co-worker Wednesday morning. It's just heartbreaking for someone to do that. The man accused of his murder, 31-year-old Brian Menocal. You're charged with murder, dangerous deprivation without premeditation. Menocal faced a Broward County judge Thursday charged with second-degree murder after Hollywood police said he struck and killed his co-worker before leaving the scene of the crime. I do find probable cause. It was inside the Marine Tech Company, Wurtzilla, where relatives learned Menocal got into a dispute with an employee that quickly turned violent. When police arrived, Williams was found dead inside a fuel room with serious injuries to his head, lying in a pool of blood. Knowing him, he walked away. He walked away. So for you to do that is it's crazy. Or Brina Williams tells me she and Andy had been together 16 years. He was the father of their two daughters and son. He was the oldest of six siblings and described him as a gentle soul. He was so kind-hearted for this to happen. Um, I, I'm still in disbelief. And when I spoke with that wife, I did get a chance to ask her if her husband and the suspect did have a prior history. She said not that she was aware. As for Menacal, he does remain behind bars, now being held with no bond. For now, in Hollywood, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.